and it is 2.05, so we'll go ahead and get started. My name is Kelly. Um, I am the Youth Services Manager, and we also have Clara, and we have another friend, and Nicole is a library staff employee as well, but Rocky is going to be the star of the show, and they are I'm going over to here. teach us how to make paper flowers out of books, so I will turn it over to you, Rocky, and I'm going okay. to mute myself because I'll probably make weird noises, and you know. <laughs> Well, you never know when somebody's going to drop something in the background. Um, so here's the uh, flower we're going to make. Um, I've got a little finished one here out of book pages. So you're going to want to start with some kind of paper, book pages, magazine pages, any sort of copy paper will work just fine. You're going to need four sheets of it, uh, or uh, five sheets of it, sorry, um, total. So you want to get those ready. And then to start, we're going to make squares out of them. So it's just kind of like origami where you take the corner and match it up to the edge there. Let's see if I can get that closer. Um, so you're going to want to match the corner up to the edge, give it a crease, and then we're going to tear off this rectangular bit here, and that's going to be waste. Um, so we're just going to keep the square portion. So we should end up with a square that has a line through it in the, on the diagonal. Yep. And so then we're going to make a template first so that we can um, make five copies, basically, of our, of our flower petals here. So we're going to fold this into a smaller square. So top to bottom then left to right or right to left, whichever you, whichever you prefer. So you'll end up with a tiny little square. And you're going to want to find this edge here where the, the fold is. Because we're going to have that be where our um, uh, middle petal is. So we're going to make a flower here that has 10 petals. So we're going to have two petals here, and then a half petal here, and then that's going to fold out to make our, our, equal, um, our equal 10. So I like to start with the half one just so I kind of know what, where the half is and how much room I have left. Oops, sorry, that's out of, out of screen. So you can make them, you know, whatever shape you want. If you want to do it kind of round, if you want to do it puffy or long and pointy, it's really kind of organic. So it's not really going to affect it much if you do a different shape. So you want to make sure that your half is on that little fold that we had earlier. Oops. There we go. And then you're going to draw your other two. So you're going to have something that ends up sort of like that. And feel free to ask any questions if at any point you're not sure what I'm talking about or you need me to repeat something or, you know, anything like that, feel free to, to pop in. And then once you get your petals done, you're going to draw a little quarter circle on that very bottom corner because we're going to cut that out and that's going to be a little uh, hole in the middle of it. So now that you have the one done, we're going to cut along these black lines here. So you'll just cut out right over where you drew. 
and this is going to make our template so that we can have identical sets of petals. And it doesn't matter, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because, um, you know, that's kind of the nice thing about doing flowers is that they're not going to have to be perfect. It'll all work out by the time we put it all together. And you're going to cut out that little circle in the middle. But you want to save this little, whoops, I dropped it. Um, this little uh, circle that you cut out, you want to set that aside because we're going to need it later. So you should end up with just a little round bit. And then when you unfold, you should have a little flower shape. Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna use this one as our template for our other ones. So you're gonna wanna take your other four sheets of paper that you have that you're gonna use and put your flower that you made on it already. And you're just gonna trace around it, trace around all of the petals and this middle area here that you cut out. And these ones we'll be able to stack so that we can cut several at once. We don't have to trace over this, um, you know, five separate times. We can just cut it the once. So then you'll have your outline on your sheets and you're just gonna wanna cut these out so you can stack them all at once. You can stack your, um, your four sheets so you can have your multiple sheets because you're gonna end up with two, three, four. You're gonna need five flowers total. So you should have four sheets plus your one that you already cut out that you were using as your template. So you can stack those together and then just cut these out. As a stack. And your other little bits that you cut off of the, the petals, you can set those aside for for recycling later. But when you cut out the middle, you're gonna wanna keep those little round bits because we're gonna need a couple of them later. And when you get to cutting out the round part, you can cut through one of the petals so that you've got a little, I have a couple of uh, pieces already cut out. You're gonna end up with a middle portion here. So you don't have to you know, cut this out as a, what am I trying to say? You can cut into the, the flower to get to the middle is, is what I mean. Um, Cause that's gonna be part of how we fold it all together in the end. Okay, so then just let me know when you have your shapes all cut out. You have all of them.
Okay, so you should end up with five separate flowers. And so what you're gonna do now is cut out the petals. So I told you we were gonna cut to the middle here. You're gonna want to cut out so you end up with a single petal, two petals, three, four, and so on, so that you have two fives, two sets of five, a six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you're gonna end up with, let me clear my mess away. You're gonna end up with an array of, and I like to put them in order so that I know where I'm at. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five, and then I'm gonna have another five. And then six, seven, here's eight, and there's nine. So usually what, what you can do that makes it easier is you can have, so this is a whole flower, you're gonna cut your, your one and your nine, and those go on the, the opposite ends here. And then you have your eight and your two. And then you're gonna cut out three, so you'll have your, your three and your seven. So you should, up, should end up having 10 total pieces in order from one to nine here. Trying to arrange them so they are visible in the camera here. So fives, that's six. Okay, how are we doing? Good? Okay, so we're gonna start with the smallest one. We're gonna start with a single. And we're just gonna, let me see if I can get close up here. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue on one corner and just kind of fold it in on itself so that it's just a little curled like that. So we're just going to kind of glue this little bottom corner together. And this is all going to get hidden in the very middle of the flower. So if it's not super neat, don't worry about it. So you should end up with just a little kind of a tube sort of shape. And then set that aside. Oops. And you're gonna take your second one and do the same thing. You're gonna curl it around so that you've got just the edges overlapping a little bit. So you'll end up with kind of a duck bill sort of here shape. Is 
Is it better to use liquid glue or a glue stick? Um, I like liquid glue just because the glue stick doesn't seem to stick very well. Okay, like the, thank you. I, the glue sticks I've found kind of, they might peel off while you're working. So I just use like your liquid white glue. So then you'll continue on as you're working to go to three, then you're four, and you're just going to keep overlapping the edges just a little bit so that you have an increasing number of petals. And this is where it helps to, you know, keep your, your workspace kind of clean just because it's easier for me anyway if I can see exactly where my three and my four and, and all of that is. So I just kind of leave them in order here. And you don't want to use too much glue, you just want to use a little bit so that it'll just kind of, see if I can get my camera to focus on that. So you just want to use a little bit so it doesn't squeeze out everywhere. You don't want to end up with a sopping wet page, but just enough to kind of stick those edges together a little bit. And they get easier as you get to the larger pieces. They're not quite as fussy getting them to, to stick together as the, uh, the one and the two are. Okay, so when you're done, you should have your small to large little flower shaped cup kind of, sh kind of things, kind of shapes. So this one might be helpful to have a pencil or a pen, just something that's sort of round, has a little tapered end to it. Because as we're working with these little tiny ones, I like to just kind of tuck it on top of the pencil just to hold it. It makes it a little easier to work with. So we're gonna start with our one and our two petal. And we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the one on the very end here of the single petal and kind of tuck it inside the two so that it's it's off a little bit so you've got your your duck mouth here and you're going to kind of put the the one singular petal so that you've got a little three there just kind of off center and that's when i stick the flower on the uh, on the pencil there because now we're going to put a little bit of glue here on the tip of the collective petals that we have now and we're going to take our three 
that we have and put that off center. So we've got this space here between the, the pedals. That's where I like to stick the pedal of the one that I'm putting on. So you can see it just kind of slides over there and the hole that you have, whoops, in the middle here is where it uh, just kind of fits in over the, the point of the collection that you have. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So tuck that back on your pencil. And as you get to the larger ones, it's a little easier to put the glue on the middle here of the one that you're putting on rather than the one that's on the pencil just because it kind of slides down a bit as you work. So just a, a drop or two in the middle and then you're just going to kind of slide that over and it's just going to slide down as much as you can on the pencil so you should have a little umbrella sort of shape. And this is where we're going to need our circles that we cut out earlier from the middles. So grab a couple of those and just cut it in half roughly so you have two little half circle shapes. Put a little bit of glue there. We're going to kind of use these as patches. So you see there's kind of a, a little bit of a gap here where the four pieces going over the three and it doesn't quite match up. So we're just gonna cover that up with our little half circle. And those are kind of just wherever you feel like you need them because each one's gonna turn out a little bit different. So you might end up with gaps in different spots than I have. So if you feel like there's kind of a, a hole or someplace that's not quite matching up right, then feel free to use one of those little half circles that you have. And then just keep going with your next sizes up that you're using. So you're just gonna work up numerically three, four, and keep twisting them a little bit as you go so that your petals aren't exactly lined up every time you, uh, you add a, a ring. So you should have two fives, and those are going to go on top of each other, just kind of off center. So you can see as you as you add, you get to about five. It should start looking something like this. You've got a couple of layers of flowers of, of petals, and it starts getting a little easier to work with because it's not quite so small and fussy. Okay, so when you get your last one on, kind of twist your pencil a little bit 
and then pull it out because otherwise it might stick a little bit. So if you, if you twist it, it kind of releases it, anything that might be stuck on the glue. And then you have a little paper flower. And you can be done there, or if you would like, take your pencil again and kind of roll some of the petals around the barrel of your pencil to kind of just curl them a little bit, give it a little more texture, a little more depth, curl some, don't curl others. Just kind of, you know, whatever you think looks nice with, with your particular flower that you're working on. Oops, I need to add a little bit more glue here, apparently. So if you decided to um, get the floral wire also, we can add, see on the finished one, we can add little stamens, can add a little uh, stem to it. You can wrap these together to make multiple shoots off of the same stem. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take a little bit of your floral wire, a couple of inches, eight inches maybe. Depends on how long you want your stem to be. And that'll just cut with regular scissors pretty easy. And I know it's kind of hard to see the floral wire on the, uh, on the camera here because it's so thin. But you're going to fold it in half so that you've got kind of a loop. And then I got these off of Amazon. They come in a bag of a million of them. I, you know, I'll have these forever. But these are, um, they're called pearl flower stamens. You can get them in all kinds of colors, blue, purple, pink, whatever. Um, and then you'll just need a couple pieces of those. You know, three or four maybe. So they come apart in little singles like this. So you're gonna take however many you decide. You can have a couple, you can have a lot. And you're gonna put those in the middle of your floral wire here, which is probably the most fussy part of this whole process. I always have trouble with it. So you're gonna put that in the middle of your wire there. So right at the end of your loop, you should have, yes, I like your hair accessory. <laughs> so you should have a loop of your, of your wire around your stamens here and then kind of twist it a little bit to get that knot kind of settled. So you should have a little, a little clump of stamens here. And then you're gonna take your wire and thread it through your flower here. So you're gonna just kind of right through the middle there. So it should come out the bottom, your wire, and then just slide it up until your stamens are, you know, where, you, where you'd like them in your flower. You want them sticking out more, if you want them more towards the very middle. I like to put just a little bit of glue on, um, the bottom here just to uh, you know use one of these little half circles that you have to kind of secure it a little bit. And that's going to be the start of our stem here. So this is floral tape, florist tape, paper tape, Depends on how, how it's listed. You can get this on Amazon for a couple dollars, like $3.99 or something for a roll of it or a two pack of a roll. And it's not really sticky so much. It's just kind of stretchy and it sticks to itself. So you're gonna want a fair amount of this. I usually use an arm's length, 
you know, I'll stretch it out to however far my arm goes. Tear that off. And then start right about here on your flower stem and you're gonna start wrapping it fairly tightly. So you're just gonna to wanna to keep wrapping around a couple of times till you get that wire really stuck on to where the flower is. And then I like to start working up here to cover up this little area where we had all those little half circles. Oops. Okay, am I on again? Okay, um, let me get my plug here because it looks like my battery's dying. Technology malfunctions. All right, now we're plugged in, we're good. Um, so yeah, start working up so you can cover up that little area where you had all of the half circles covering up and just start twisting your tape around. Again, kind of tightly, because this is what's gonna add the, the stability to your um, flower stem portion. And then once you get a nice little, oops, once you get a nice little uh, roundabout going there, you're gonna start working your way down the length of the wire. And it can be fairly, you know, just free form how you're, however you want to uh, wrap it around this wire. It doesn't have to be super precise because it's all gonna get kind of smushed as we finish up anyway. So once you get down to as far as you want your, as long as you want your stem to be, then you can kind of start rolling it with your fingers to kind of give it that woody sort of texture to it and also, also kind of stick it to itself and stick to the wire better and you might end up with you know some excess and just trim that off with a uh, pair of scissors and then you should have a nice little flower with a stem here and then if you want to you can make a couple so you make two of them for instance, and then you can twist the stems together and use some of that floral tape again to cover up where you joined them. And just keep working down so that you end up with a flower with two little stems off of it. And if you want to get real fancy, you can get some essential oils. You can put like a little drop down in here and make it smell nice. It'll only last temporarily, but you know, it'll be a nice little fun surprise when somebody gets a, a paper flower bouquet and it's, it smells nice. And everyone turns out a little bit different. Just depends on what shape you cut your, your petals and you know what size they are. You can make them bigger if you would like. You can make them, you know, huge flowers that are 10 inches wide if you want, or you can make little tiny ones. Just depends on how how small you want to work and how small you're comfortable working.
Does anybody have any questions or troubleshooting, having issues with anything? Getting a lot of no's, that's good. <laughs> you said you found like the tape and the wire just on Amazon, right? Yeah, if you search um, floral tape or craft stamens, that's S-T-A-M-E-N-S, -E then they should come up. You should have a couple different options. Okay. I used a glue stick with mine and it was a hot mess. <laughs> was it? Okay. Yeah. I, I generally, I'm, I'm not a fan of glue sticks. They, they don't stick enough for me, but they do have their, their uses for other things, for sure. <laughs> and you don't necessarily have to make this, you know, this took us probably about, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. You can wait if you want to, like, really give it some time to dry after you get all of your petals assembled before you start messing with the stamens and the wire and all that. You can let it sit for an hour overnight or, you know, come back to it later. That sometimes makes it a little easier to work with. Just make sure you take the pencil out you know, when we had our when we had our pencil in the middle here, make sure you take that out before you leave it alone to dry. Because I've definitely glued a couple flowers to pencils before, and then I'm like, well, fabulous! I have a pencil glued to a flower. Great. <laughs> so, before you step away from it for a minute, twist the pencil out. And if you feel like you're making a lot of them, you know, if you want to make like a dozen of them or anything, I would recommend making a template out of some plastic because that's a little sturdier. So if you're going to, you know, rather than having to redraw every single one with a, uh, you know, we started with our, our paper template. If you're going to be doing it a bunch of times, get like a lid from a coffee can or, you know, takeout container or something and, and trace your shape onto that. And that way you've got something a little thicker and sturdier that's going to hold up to your, your dozen flowers that you're making. Gonna say, should we do a quick show and tell? Right, show and tell. <laughs> Woo! They all look so different. I didn't have enough petals. <laughs> That's not a problem. You can always make more. <laughs> That's kind of the fun thing, though, is it, it, you know, you just add to it, just cut out another couple shapes and just keep layering it. You know, it's really hard to make something that doesn't end up looking like a flower somehow at the end of it. <laughs> 